Could Meghan Markle's pregnancy have been fake? Today's guest has some pretty damning evidence. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signar, and it's Royal Guest Week here on Popcorn Planet and Popcorn Palace. And I'm so excited to meet today's guest, Megan's Mole. What? We're actually speaking to Meghan Markle's Mole. Well, hello, Miss Mole. Hi, Andy. How are you? Thanks for having me on. This is all so mysterious. No one knows who you are. You're like the tug of uh, Meghan Markle, it seems. And I'm honored to have you here. You have a lot of theories. You've done a lot of stuff online. Uh, thank you for being here. I, I guess before we even get to this theory of yours, uh, that Megan's pregnancy could have been fake. What got mm -hmm. you into all this in the first place? And why are you anonymous? Well, basically, we all know that Meghan Markle's Sussex Squad fan base are a bunch of rabid individuals who will try and destroy your life because you don't worship their queen, Meghan Markle. And basically, I got into all of this because I couldn't stand the lies this woman was telling. So I decided to start a YouTube channel, basically when they um, signed a Spotify deal and didn't come up with any content, I decided to make a channel showing everyone that, hey, it's easy to put out content. You don't need 26 producers to put out content. And I, as a single mother with a full-time business to run, decided to pull up and do a YouTube channel on the side so we can keep track of the lies and tall tales Meghan Markle and her PR decides to put out. Hmm. And that's all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I, I'm impressed because first, it's easy to sort of uh, label you crazy conspiracy theorists, which I'm sure you hear a lot. Um, yeah. But what was interesting about this... Uh, a claim, which is not, you're not the only one out there who's made this claim. And again, mm -hmm. we're speculating here, guys, we are speculating. Uh, but you, you've brought some pretty good evidence here. Uh, Meghan Markle's pregnancy. Why would she fake it? Well, there's a good reason to that, right? Because of the line of succession alone, before we even get to the images, I guess it's important to really, what would the motto even be to go against your critics who say you're crazy, Megan's mole. Come on. But there is a real question here because that line of succession is important. Correct. 100%. The people deserve to know the truth about the line of succession and only children that are born of the body are legally allowed to be within the line of succession. Meghan Markle turned down the Queen's royal doctors to bring in her own set of doctors. So we don't even know where these children came from, if they're of the body and uh, Harry's certificates of Archie are the only ones to be sealed out of all royal children, which doesn't happen. Yeah, I mean, that dishonesty and weirdness is was something else because they were lying. To, I, I can understand why they would have lied. Let's I, I'm, I'm trying to be fair here. Um, but, uh, you know, they were high, lying to the press with fake photos previously to protect him. But all yeah. of this stuff, all this credibility is out the window with the two of them that I can understand why people would be worried. There is a line of succession. There are rules they got to follow, and they'd never want to follow these rules. So the motive and the reasoning of why they would hide such a thing, those are fair reasons, guys, I got to say. Now, beyond that, uh, Miss Mole, you have also brought in a lot of uh, evidence yourself. Now, you guys can go follow Megan's Mole over on YouTube, but I have a video here with lots of videos and photo where you I mean, and walk us through like you were pregnant at the same time as her correct so you were seeing her do these physical acts and bellies moving and disappearing yeah. throughout her pregnancy that gave you pause 100 percent, andy the thing is is that like you said i was pregnant at the exact same time as megan markle and the movements like here she is fully bent down with her knees together when she is claiming to be about six months pregnant at this point even further but a woman at that stage can't do that like look at here she's sitting in a chair turns over knees together. Like if I tried to do that at that stage of pregnancy, it would feel like my crotch was on fire. Like it would be painful. I wouldn't be able to do it. No woman would be able to do it. And I hate to say it with this photo that you stopped right there, that lady is looking at her like, what is going on here? I think she knows that <laughs> you see this. She's got that look on her face. Like what is going on? <laughs> But I then think there's the also all these, know. you have these images too, not only, but just the, the difference of how that shape yeah. of the belly is, it is yeah. wild. 
She's more pregnant in January than April, and April was one month before Archie was born. So wouldn't your stomach be a lot bigger and not flatter? I mean, usually over time, as the months go by, the baby grows in your belly. He doesn't get smaller. They don't go away. They I mean, yeah, well, I mean, and then the difference of signs is that the moon bump, as you call it, like, yeah, here she is at one event arriving, yeah. big, big belly. And then the belly is seemingly gone as she leaves. Andy, I've never had my pregnant belly drop down to my knees ever. <laughs> like this, <laughs> this is what got me going. Like, what is this? She claimed she was telling people at the event here that day that she was six months pregnant. And this was in January. And that looks like she's ready to pop at any minute. That looks like someone that's about to give birth. See, I went through all this, so I know what all, all of it feels like, what all, the, all of it is supposed to look like. No woman, do you see her? how big her belly is? Where did her belly go when she's leaning over trying to pet that dog? The dog doesn't even trust her in that photo. <laughs> It, look, I mean, the the photo doesn't lie. There's definitely some odd uh, motion. There's some odd discrepancies. If these dates are correct, which I, I'm assuming you you've made sure they are, I mean, it's it's what? weird the how much that baby bump moves around. I am not gonna lie. Meghan Markle, I swear, is the only woman in the world to have a moon bump that changes shape so many times throughout a day. It collapses, it deflates, it inflates. She she never has any swelling either. Like here in this video, she's supposed to be about eight months along. And she just goes down in high heels. With, she doesn't have any kind of swelling and pops back up. Now, any husband, you would think, if his wife is eight months pregnant, would be helping their wife get up from a full crouch. But I always noticed that Harry never helped his wife. He never seemed more protective of her during her pregnancy times. And that's when men are more protective of their wives. And you never seen that with Harry, which was another red flag for me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. as a, as someone who's experienced, uh, pre you know, pregnancy as a, as a father. Yeah. It's especially those eight, nine months that it, it's, it's hard to move around. It's tough. Now, granted, every pregnancy is different. I would ask you guys sure. at home, do you agree with this? Are we missing something? I want to hear your thoughts, but I'm looking at another one. Like, what is this weird square bump? Like, <laughs> you ever seen a square bump before, Andy, in your life? I mean, she could have padded. Maybe, you know what it is? Here's my, I'm trying to like, I don't know I why am. I'm giving her an out, but I am. What if it's some sort of protective padding that she had there in case she was being like super crazy that thought someone was going to come get her? Could that be an excuse of why she maybe had extra belly over her belly? Let me tell you something. As a woman who was pregnant, I always kept my belly covered. Just you feel like you have to keep the child inside you protected, right? Whereas Megan was always exposing her belly. If she felt an, any kind of danger, she could have kept her coat on that day. She wore a coat to this event. And it was December. It was winter time. It was cold. And she's in a springtime dress. You can compare her belly to how Catherine was pregnant. This is around the same time? Yeah, around the same time. And completely different shape. And you notice, like, even Catherine, being the slim and tall woman that she is, she even gained a little bit of water weight, a little bit of retention. Megan never had any growth in her breasts. She never had any water weight. She always wore her wedding rings to the final day. Like there's a lot of red flags that popped up for me in this. And I think any woman who has been pregnant can tell you that she probably wasn't pregnant and didn't well, give it's birth. It's weird, right? Because the belly's higher up here than it is. Yeah. It's like it, it floats down. It is, you're well, not, you know what? It, you know what literally it here it's gone and now it's big. Now, yeah. Come on, she ate a pizza, Megan's mole. That's what it is, right? She had some tacos and had too much gas, darling. That's all it was. <laughs> Look, I mean, when I first heard this, I just kind of was like, oh, whatever. I, I remember Amber, you know, when they were all her, that was all fake. In it, but she had she admitted at least to the surrogate. And then the question was, are the kids fake? And I know that's a whole nother theory that we're going to talk about in part two of this breakdown with Megan's Bull, the whole Sussex baby scam. So stay tuned. We're going to we're going to send you over there in a second. But uh, this is one I'm I'm more able to subscribe to because I and seeing the facts, the photos seeing the way she's moving, seeing how the belly is moving around. There's something off here. And there is a potential that she might have 
had a surrogate or something, and even the Royals were in on this. So I, I can't deny this one fully. Um, anything else you want to mention on this theory before we go to the whole fact that are the kids all fake in general? Just speaking on the pregnancy, anything else you want to mention? I, you brought up the Royals there for a second, and I think the Royals um, did know about this, but I think maybe that, and this is all my opinion, Andy Kay, I think that the Royals found out once it was too late, and I feel like maybe Megan would have played the racism card against them mm. if they came out and said something, so now they've had to kind of continue on with the charade. But I think people are more upset, like, why do those children that the royal family have never, ever seen, why are they titled as prince and princess? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, to those out there that say, oh, no, I can't believe you have Megan's mole on here. She's so mean. Look at her whole name of the channel is focusing on Megan's mole. Uh, are, do, you, do you hear any of that criticism? Do you think maybe you are taking it too far, bringing the kids in and, and leaving it to her, her looks? How do you respond to that? I don't think I'm taking it too far, Andy. I think people deserve to know the truth, especially when it has to do with the line of succession and titles. And if the UK taxpayers are going to have to pay for those children in the future, I believe people deserve to know. And if Meghan and Harry somehow prove to the world, I know it's going to be hard for them to do because nobody believes them. If they come out and they prove that Megan actually birthed these babies, that she had a C-section or she gave actual natural birth to them, then I will happily apologize and retract all of my comments. But to this day, as I stand right now, I think Megan was never pregnant and both children she used a surrogate for. And the UK taxpayers deserve to know the truth. Yeah, well, there's definitely something off. And I like this photo because I don't know if you noticed while you were staring at it. Did you see what was off, audience? I see. You got too she many hands three there. hands. Uh, <laughs> it's AI for you. All, a Megan. lot of my images AI, but none of this was. Just to be clear, a lot of my thumbnails and stuff, I'm using AI. It's parody and, and for my thumbnails, except, but you can attest all the stuff you did. This was, I guess, before even AI was really taken off when you made these videos, correct? 100%. Yeah. So these all are the all videos, real. All these yeah. yeah, all the photos and the videos are all images on the internet. Anyone can find them. They're from uh, Getty. They're actual photographs. Nothing has been altered with. Nothing has been played with. These can all be found online. Yeah, it's, it's weird because it's like it's almost as if it is strange because it's like she I don't think expected people to go do this much homework and line up the dates and do it all you know and you I did so did. I'll give you that you may be crazy it may be accurate but I'm not going to call you crazy because I see something here that is strange those images look strange to me if we're wrong and somebody's got something to combat it please let us know come hit us up in the meanwhile if you like this sort of theory and uh thinking go subscribe to Megan's Mole you can follow her on Twitter as well at Megan's Mole now I want to go talk about something I've been avoiding talking about. Are the kids fake? This whole Sussex baby scam. Are you down to talk about it with me, Megan's Mole? Of course. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're going to do that over in Popcorn Palace. So if you haven't subscribed there, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to all the channels here. Hit that bell for alerts. Smash that like button and I'll leave a comment down below. Royals Guest Week continues with part two over there on Popcorn Palace. Come join us and check out all the other videos we've been doing. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks so much.